A ram, which had two horns, was standing in front of the canal. Now the two horns were long, but one was longer than the other, with the longer one coming up last. I saw the ram budding westward, northward, and southward, and no other beast could stand before him, nor was there anyone to rescue from his power. But he did as he pleased and magnified himself. Daniel 8, 3 through 4. Last week we spoke of the first horn of the ram, which we now know is Iran. But who is the second horn? The longer horn which comes out last. The second longer horn is adjacent to the first horn and rises after the first horn. For the second horn is Iraq, and its leader is the Antichrist, Moqtada Sadr. Iraq is a nation along the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, historically known as Mesopotamia, and is referred to as the Cradle of Civilization. Within Mesopotamia, mankind first began to read, write, and live in cities under a unified government, notably in the city of Ur, from which Iraq is derived. In the 7th century, the Arabic conquest of this region would establish the Islamic religion in Iraq. Muhammad's son-in-law, Ali, moved the Islamic capital to Kufa, where he became the fourth caliph or ruler of Islam. However, the struggle for control between the previous caliph and Ali created a great division between the Sunni and Shia religions respectively, a rivalry which exists to this day. The Iraqi capital of Baghdad was built along the Tigris River in the 8th century and this city became the leading center of the Arabic and Islamic world for the subsequent five centuries. Iraq would be controlled by the Ottoman Empire from the 16th through the 20th century. During World War I, the Ottomans decided to ally with Germany but were defeated by British forces. Under British control, the region was called the State of Iraq. After decades of imperialism, the British granted independence to the Kingdom of Iraq in 1932. Iraq would remain under Sunni governance through most of the 20th century. In 1990, Iraq under Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. This led to military intervention by U.S.-led forces in the first Gulf War under George Bush Sr. In 2003, the United States, under the false precedence of weapons of mass destruction, would invade Iraq in the second Gulf War under George Bush Jr. During this war, the Mahdi Army was formed in 2003 by the revered religious leader Muqtada Sadr, and began to fight effectively against the U.S. forces. Muqtada Sadr was called by his followers the Mahdi, which means the guided one, who would lead his people against the infidels according to Shia prophecy. Muqtada Sadr was also called by his followers Martyr Imam, or holiest priest of Islam. So the reason he is called Martyr Imam is because the Bush administration helped Saddam Hussein assassinate his father-in-law, Imam Mohammed Balkir al-Sadr, in 1980. And his father, Imam Mohammed Saudiq al-Sadrin, in 1999. Therefore, as Shia leaders at the time, Sadr's parents are now worshipped as the two holiest martyrs of Iraq. Because of this, Sadr is now hell-bent on avenging the death of his family against the U.S. Muqtada Sadr's father, 
and father-in-law both studied with the Mom Khomeini of Iran. Furthermore, Muqtada's cousin is Mohammad Khatami, a previous president of Iran. Finally, Muqtada is a cousin of the Musa al-Sadr, the Iranian founder of a powerful political Shia party in Lebanon. In other words, the Shia horns of Iraq, Iran, and Lebanon are tied together through Sadr's blood relatives. After the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, a new Shia government was established. However, it is not acceptable for imams to participate in politics. Thus, Sadr did not run in the 2005 Iraqi elections. As the U.S. began withdrawing from Iraq in 2011, Sadr's stance against the U.S. made him a more popular leader. And with Sadr's controlling the largest bloc of parliament, he has influenced the acting prime ministers who needed Sadr's support in order to retain their posts. So, in 2012, Sadr began to present himself as a proponent of moderation, tolerance, and peace. In 2014, Sadr formed the Peace Companies in order to protect Shia shrines from ISIS. In 2015, Sadr entered into alliance with the Iraqi Communist Party and other secular groups under the auspice of corruption concerns for the country. On February 26, 2016, Sadr led a one million man demonstration in Baghdad to protest the political corruption in Iraq. In May 2018, Sadr's party won 54 seats in the Iraqi parliamentary election. Now Sadr has transformed himself as an Iraqi nationalist has allied himself with communists, Sunnis, and political independents, has criticized Iran's interference, and has opposed the sectarian nature of Iraqi politics. Due to the assassination of Sadr's father and father-in-law in collaboration with the U.S. and Saddam Hussein, and following the assassination of the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani in January 2021 by the U.S., Sadr realized his opportunity to control Iraq and to influence the region. Sadr demanded the immediate cancellation of the security agreement with the U.S., the closure of the U.S. Embassy, the expulsion of U.S. troops in a humiliating manner, and criminalizing communication with the U.S. government. Sadr launched an early campaign in preparation for the elections in June 2021, although he had previously said that he would not participate in elections. But this time he has declared not only will he participate in the election, but he also plans to win a majority of the parliament seats required to take over the premiership. Sadr's propaganda is that he, quote, does not seek to be in power, but, quote, wants to vanquish those who want to harm Iraq." Unquote. Nonetheless, Sadr's supporters put on a violent show in the city of Nazaria and on the evening of November 27, 2020, killed seven people. A foreboding sign that Sadr might use violence to secure his position as the new president of Iraq. <laughs>